Hello, everyone. Um, just wanted to do a video because I made a comment and I, I felt a little bit bad. Not really, but um, I made a comment on the Guitar Guitar video about getting the Van Halen sound from October or uh, from Atomic Punk. I think they just did that last week, but um, it was it was really bad as if they had didn't done no research at all. They knew we used a flanger and a phaser and that's about it. Um, so anyway, the phaser and the flanger go in front of the amp, so it is the Echoplex. Um, they did not have effects loops back on the first few albums, and the dummy loading and all this other stuff that they talk about didn't happen until the 1984 or, or uh, even later album um, after he met Bob Bradshaw and kind of figured out how to do some things to clean things up. He was using multiple amps, doing different things, and he started using the H&H &H power amp and then the harmonizers and all that other stuff. But on the first um, couple albums, maybe even through Fair Warning, he was only using two pedals, and that's the phaser and the flanger, and then using the Echoplex, which was before the amp. I think the main reason for using the Echoplex was really just to boost the front of the amp, what they call juicing it, right? Um, Given a little more gain, and I'll show exactly what that means. So you may not be able to see these, but I have everything set up. Um, hopefully you can if you zoom in on the video or something. But I'm going to post this on the Helix Custom Tone, um, or Line 6 Custom Tone for Helix, so you can see everything. And I'll try to get to the playing, play as much as possible, less talking. But um, the phaser that I'm using is, I made no changes to it whatsoever. It's exactly as it was set up in the Helix. I just pulled up that script phase, and that's it. The flanger, the only difference I made was to turn the regeneration up to 100. The other ones seem pretty good where they are. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I think his was like, uh, normally I think the width in the manual were at like um, 11 o'clock and the rate was at like three or like 10 o'clock and then regeneration was all the way up. Um, that's how it was on his actual pedal. So on the, there, see how it got quieter when you turn that tape, <laughs> the tape off? Um, 218 milliseconds. That's perfect for the slapback that was used. Um, the feedback is zero, and the mix is only at 13%. Um, it's very small, and when you turn down the volume on the guitar, you can really tell. So let me let me let you hear what it sounds like without it. Now you'll hear the reverbs in the right, and the guitar is in the left, just like the first album. Um, I kind of recreated that as well. <laughs> you get from the attack on the strings really makes a difference. I can go... It's a decently gained, high gain sound, but add that. Watch what happens when I roll down the volume. You don't even hear that echo, right? trick with that. That's the whole trick to it. So anyway, um, zero feedback, mix is only at 13%, and the level is juiced to six, plus six. That's all the way up, and that's just juicing the front of the amp and giving you a little more gain. I did change the, um, the amp. I'm using, let's see, Brit, Brit Plexi Bright. Brit Plexi Bright, hard to say. 
I put the gain on eight, the drive. That's it. It's only change. Oh no, I messed up. Okay. Um, the cab is a cust is the regular cab. There's no IR. I wanted it to be anybody could use this. So it's a 412 greenback 25s. I did a high cut at 10.4 and low cut at 65, which is pretty much I just I just think it cuts out some of that high end that you don't need. You don't really need all that low end. Um his his it's pretty bright and you can tell the the way that the the guitar and the amp reacts to the guitar is just amazing. Um, the reverb is just a plate reverb. Turn the decay down, mix it 100%, and it's. I put it in a different path because it's panned all the way to the right, just like it's supposed to be. So let's get to the meat and potatoes. Everybody wants to hear Atomic Punk, right? If, if I do this with just the script and without the echoplex, you don't get the same effect. There's not enough gain hitting the front of the amp to really get that scratchy sound. It's just not there. Watch what happens when you add this. The solo on that song was used with the flanger. So I'll play that. Got the flanger, so let's try it again. That regen was a little too much, so I turned it down to six. So song, there's that feedback, and I can't do that, of course, with the guitar, but it goes, but you hear that, you hear that slap back, you hear that at the end, very clearly. It's that F, that B, you can hear it totally at the end. Because there's kind of some silence there, and you get to hear that. Um, makes a huge difference. So like I said, on the first album, the, the, the main reason for the tape wasn't for that, uh, you know, that extra, that slap. It was for the juicing of the amp. And I think that something about the tape, too, even with the mix all the way down, he was just trying to get the boost. And I think even with the mix all the way down, you get that slap, and he just said, oh, I'll live with it or make it work with the context of the song, which is what he did. Um, live, he unplugged the Echoplex only when he needed it. And I think, I think that when they played live, he only used it for eruption. So I also added some little tricks in here I'm going to show you with the eruption. So 
the very end of eruption is done not with the whammy bar. It's done with the knobs on the Echoplex. And I'm going to show how that works. So I'm, I used, instead of knobs, hear that? I use the expression pedals. And I'll show you how that works. So the very end of eruption is the phaser and the Echoplex. <laughs> So I'm using Expression Pedal 2 to control, let me see if you can see it on here, to control the feedback and the mix. So the feedback's going from, from that should be on, yeah, 0 to 100, and the mix is going from the 13 to 100. So you don't have to do anything, make that noise. This one is going from 218 milliseconds to 436, which doubles it. So you're actually taking it down a whole octave. That's exactly what that's for. So. <laughs> One of the tricks on that, too, just so everybody knows, is that going into the front of the amp, the reason why it, it works so well is if you do it after the amp, you get this uncontrollable craziness and um, it will distort through everything else. Could <laughs> it might blow up your amp kind of thing, um, but in front of the amp, it sounds really cool, and it really um, it distorts in the right way because the front of the amp compresses it and doesn't doesn't make it go too nutso. So anyway, the coolness of Edward Van Halen. <laughs> 